Uh, hello, today I would like to show you how um, how to get some services and to set up uh, what is it called the VPS on OVH. So if I go to OVH, I will have to um, blur a lot of things, but I hope that it will still be clear enough. So to have uh, VPS is like having uh, <coughs> it's it's like having a computer somewhere. The main idea behind was to use it as a VPN. Uh, so here you can see that I have multiple domain names, and if I go to I think it was um, this one. Yes, so if I go to domain, uh, I choose the one I'm using for this. So I had to order a VPS. Uh, when you order a VPS, you get the IP address of your uh, machine. You can SSH to it. Um, in my case, I will have to blur this one as well. I need to SSH here. I didn't set up all of the security um, safety yet, so you have to change the you have to change the port to move it from twenty two for SSH. You have to um, um, what else? set up a firewall and you have to be really careful with this one because you could kick yourself out um, you can uh, put fail to ban which is software that will stop people from connecting if they are not in the ip address list and you can do this with uh, the firewall as well um, you can for all of these ones you can google them and they are quite easy to do uh, deactivate uh, login from root using the root uh, user and then use an SSH key instead of a password so here I have access to my host machine um, so now if I go to the website futile robotics there is nothing but if i go to um, manage futile robotics dot futile robotics i will get to the managing page to the ngx proxy manager uh, this is um, so what this does is when you go to your DNS, so this is uh, the OVH setup page, but you can do this for all kind of, I mean, if you use other uh, VPS providers, they, they will offer this page as well. So here you can see that if I go to futile, I added a rule here. A, you have to choose A type. I don't know what the others are. You, you can choose uh, test, for example. And then here for the IP address, you put uh, the IP address of your machine. And then when you set up uh, NGX proxy, so you can set it up uh, on uh, Docker. <coughs> if you go to proxy, uh, you can see that it will so the request will arrive at NGX and then NGX will decide where to route it if to the internal services that you are running on your machine. So here I have multiple uh, services and if I type docker.futilerobotics.tech 
I get routed to the port 9000. If I type chat, I get routed to the port 82, etc. Uh, we can see if we go uh, docker, docker, get futile robotic. If I log in. Here you can see I have 16 images. Oh, only eight containers. Why is that? Oh, that's normal, I think. Um, you can see here that I have OpenVPN. I have Portainer, so this is Portainer. And this one, sh in my opinion, should be the first one to be installed because this way you can manage uh, Docker with this easy to use user interface. There are plenty of resources to, to understand how this works. You can change the name of your uh, image, of your container. You can uh, get the IP address, check the port. Um, so I usually install them from here. So you can see here all of the Docker containers that I set up uh, not so long ago. I, I usually just Google how, how to install this service using uh, docker or go to the docker hub and get the, read the documentation and then change the port because sometimes uh, the ports are used for example the 80 i had to use uh, 82 so i have to change this first part to tell it forward the port 80 of your docker container to the 82 of the of the machine and then you can manage everything from here. So I would say Portainer should be the first thing you install. Uh, Nginx proxy should be the second thing, so you can route whatever you need uh, to to your uh, to your local service. And then what else do I want to do? I think that's it. I don't know if I'm clear enough, but. Uh, I think that's it. Um, uh, so I have a Mattermost server, I have uh, this NGX proxy, I have an MQTT broker that I can use um, whenever I want. Uh, I have a portainer OpenVPN located where this machine is so from everywhere i can uh, connect as if i were i was in, in so this server is in france as if i was in france and i think that's it i guess i will set up uh, own cloud um, also maybe a git instance and there is one other service but I'm waiting for the documentation to be um, updated uh, I will make a video on how to test your MQTT uh, installation I hope this was useful so you, you have to watch this video as a uh, note I mainly do them for myself but uh, share them so that if someone finds them useful, they can. Thank you.